Hello, my dear students. Hope you guys are all doing good. Hope you guys are all perfectly fine. I wish and I hope that you guys are all doing the preparation as expected, as planned. And I wish that you are putting 100% of the efforts uh, and you are very serious about your preparation. I wish the same with each and every one. And uh, I'm doing this video because I wanted to talk about the preparation strategy from the last few days. I have been receiving a lot of questions from the students, a lot of requests from the student asking me to do the preparation strategy for CA Inter Audit for May 2024 examination. So why there has been delays? Because uh, I wanted to make sure that since it is going to be a new scheme, so we have to wait for the MTPs and all. We have to analyze the MTPs in order to get an idea about the question paper pattern. So that's why it has become a late. And in the meantime, I have become sick. Uh, and from the last one week, I have been uh, I have become sick with uh, viral fever. So that's why I'm unable to come before you. Sorry for the delay. But uh, yeah, I know that uh, the tension is piling up. You're all uh, going through the loads of stress now because the examination time has come down. You were expecting the exams will get extended because of election, but that did not happen. I say has uh, not done that. So the stress has gone even further. So now you start thinking, I am unable to cover the syllabus. At least uh, I have to concentrate on the important chapters. At least I have to utilize this balance time available in such a manner that by reading appropriate content, you want to score good marks in the examination. You want to get through, you want to get through in the examination. So I know these all kinds of thoughts will be going on in your mind. So I thought, why don't we make a preparation strategy video talking about the things, uh, important chapters, which you have to focus and how you can utilize this rest of the one month of the time available in a much effective way. So I wanted to make sure that will happen. So that's why I'm recording this video. I know this is a valuable time for you. I don't want to waste much of your time and energy directly. We'll jump into this preparation strategy. Guys, before I talk about the important chapters, before I say which chapters you have to focus more, which chapters you have to focus less, before I talk about that matter, I want to tell you one important suggestion. You take it as very, very serious, whatever I'm going to tell, you take it very seriously because every time, whenever first exam, first two, three examinations, which will happen under new scheme, most of the questions which will be tested in the examination will be directly from the study material. In the study material, they will give test your knowledge questions, all that things they will do. No? Uh, earlier, if you see the past uh, things, past examination, in my experience, whatever I have seen, being as a student or being as a faculty, in my experience, whatever I have seen, Whenever a new scheme comes and initial two, three examinations, which will happen under the new schemes, they will be straightforward questions from the study material. So my humble request for you all who are attempting for May 2024 examination, not just for the audit paper, for each and every subject in the ICI study material, at the end of the chapter, at the end of each and every chapter, you will be able to find the test your knowledge questions. You'll be able to find the test your knowledge questions and also you'll be able to find MCQs. I'm talking about the audit paper specifically in the study material. You will be able to find MCQs and also test your knowledge questions. And I have made your job simple. Actually, you need not refer the ICI study material. I have compiled all this uh, test your knowledge questions, all this MCQ based questions, all this I have compiled and created a booklet. So where you can actually get that booklet is you can visit our website. Uh, website description website link will be given in the description you can visit the website go to the resources section go to the resources section so once you go to the resources section you will be able to find this uh, ca inter audit go to that folder ca inter audit once you go for ca inter audit there you will be able to find this materials and all so in this section you will be able to find mcq booklet test your knowledge question booklet so as i have told isaiah will give test your knowledge questions so what i have done is i have compiled all that test your knowledge questions along with the answers in the study material you will be able to find only the question and they will give reference to which paragraph you have to refer in the study material. So what I have done is I have taken the time out and compiled all the questions in the test your knowledge category. Same thing I have done for MCQs also chapter wise segregation also I have done uh, those students who are following our material for ease of uh, reference. I have done chapter wise segregation according to our material. I have done the segregation and also I have given the answers as well. So my humble request don't go for the examination without referring this test your knowledge booklet. Very, very important. Damn sure you have to refer this test your knowledge question booklet. See for audit paper, I have prepared this for other subjects. If you have, if you don't have this kind of ready-made information available, at least try to refer the study material and definitely go through the test your knowledge questions and MCQs. Then only you go for the examination for audit. I have made your job easy. I have made this compilation. Please download it and read it. After reading this only you go for the examination. So this is one important request which I want to which which I want each and every one of you to follow and I hope that you all will do it definitely you all will do it I hope that and uh, I expect that uh, you 100% comply with this thing whatever I have told. So now having said that now let us talk about the chapters 
now let us talk about chapters sir which chapters i have to prepare which chapters uh, i can take it lightly so these things you will come in that will come in your mind definitely that will come because i know as a student i have also faced these kind of issues so if you have already completed 100 percent of the syllabus if you have already done at least one revision of the 100 percent of the syllabus then this video is not for you but i know 90 percent of the students will not fall under category they would not have covered the entire syllabus at least once so for them i'm going to talk about the chapters which you have to focus more so that with less efforts also we can have a chance of getting through the examination we have odds in our favor to get through the examination so i have listed down the chapters i have divided the chapters into three categories first category of chapters are top priority chapters first category of chapters are top priority without referring these chapters you should not go for the examination without referring these chapters you should never ever go for the examination so first i have identified the top priority chapters so the chapters which will fall under top priority is nature objective and scope of audit along with ethics so if you if you are following our material you would know i have combined the first and last chapter in the study material into single chapter in the study material you will, you will be able to find two chapters nature objective and scope and ethics in terms of engagement so what we have done is we have combined both the chapters why because both contains fundamental topics which will be better if we discuss at the beginning only so that's why you have to read this chapter compulsorily nature objective and scope and ethics in our material it will be one in the study material you will be able to find two chapters so whatever it is nature objective and scope of audit and ethics this chapter you have to compulsorily cover then audit reporting very very important chapter from the examination perspective very conceptual discussion high weightage in the examination chances for testing mcqs as well chances for mcqs being tested from this audit reporting chapter as well so a lot of valuable information, a lot of uh, uh, important content from the practical perspective and even from the examination perspective, you will get it in the audit reporting chapter. Compulsorily, you have to read the auditing rep audit reporting chapter. And audit documentation and evidence. You will be able to find a chapter called audit documentation and evidence in our material. Please read that chapter. Then standards on audit. See, earlier I used to say that under old scheme, I used to say a specific standard. I used to specifically list out, list out the standards which you have to prepare. But this time I am not listing out entire standards all the standards whatever are there in the standards on auditing chapter as per our material refer all the standards refer each and every standard which is there in that standards on auditing chapter so these four chapters are going to be top priority when i say top priority you should not leave anything from this chapter 100 percent of the content you have to cover 100 percent when i say 100 percent 100 percent you have to cover so the top priority chapters are nature objective and scope and ethics audit reporting audit documentation and evidence and then we have something called standards on auditing don't go for the examination without preparing for this chapters so once you are very much comfortable with these chapters which are under top priority category then i then i have listed down the next best chapters next best so once you are comfortably done with all these four chapters the next best chapters which you can prepare in less amount of time at the same time weightage is also going to be very high at the same time weightage is also going to be very good i'm expecting the weightage to be very high from these chapters so the next best three chapters are audit in an automated environment audit sampling audit strategy planning and program these are three chapters you have to refer next best see audit sampling is particularly very important because if you see the study material test your knowledge questions so many questions have been tested regarding the audit sampling concept in the ICA study material regarding audit sampling there are hell a lot of questions so ICA has put a lot of emphasis in the study material on the audit sampling part. Content wise it is very small. In the study material also content is very limited. Whatever content they have given regarding audit sampling is very limited. But when it comes to the test your knowledge questions, most of the questions they have tested from this audit sampling. So I do expect from this audit sampling, audit in an automated environment, audit strategy, planning and program. From these three chapters, you can expect once again a very good weightage. Once again, you can expect a very good weightage. Now, if I say it on an optimistic side, if you cover these seven chapters, nature, objective and scope and ethics, audit reporting, audit documentation and evidence, standards on audit, automated environment, audit sampling, audit strategy planning and program, there are chances. I'm not telling 100% guarantee guys. I'm not even giving you reasonable assurance, not at all absolute assurance, not even reasonable assurance. I'm giving you limited assurance. If you cover these seven chapters, there are chances there are odds in your favor there is a chance of getting passed in the examination by covering this seven chapters but once again probability is very less but still the probability is there probability is very less sometimes if your time is so good enough by preparing this seven chapters also you have a chance of getting through the examination but the probabilities are little bit less now if you want to increase that probability if you want to have more odds in your favor 
you have to add two more chapters to this list you have to add two more chapters to this list to convert this limited assurance to an reasonable assurance see we are actually talking in the audit terms right so these are seven chapters you cover then if you add two more chapters to the list audit of items of the financial statements audit of various entities if you add these two chapters to the list then i can tell you you have more probability of getting through the examination so i have listed down how many chapters here under top priority i have listed down four chapters next best i have listed down three chapters last but not least uh nine uh, two chapters i have added so if i am not wrong four plus three seven seven plus two nine nine chapters i have listed down i have listed down here sir why you did not mention other chapters like audit of banks risk assessment internal control why you did not refer to that chapters i will tell you why will the questions not come in the examination no questions will come from audit of banks also questions will come from risk assessment and internal control chapter also but when i do the comparative study when you do something like cost benefit analysis the time which you will spend on learning the concepts of audit of banks on learning the concepts of risk assessment and internal control that is going to be a huge amount of time so when i do the cost benefit analysis whatever time that you spend on risk assessment and internal control chapter in the same time you can complete these three chapters next to best three chapters you can cover so i have even done the cost benefit analysis whatever you want to say it, what whatever time we are spending and whatever weightage we are getting so that's what i meant by cost benefit analysis so when i think in that perspective that's why i have kept this uh, certain chapters out of list risk assessment internal control and audit of banks not because questions will not be tested from there questions will be 100 percent tested from the other chapters also whatever i have not taken the name but our requirement is to get through the examination see i can't expect you to cover 100 percent of the syllabus if you if i say if you have to cover 100 percent of the syllabus then there is no purpose in making this video at all so just i am making the probabilities more in your favor to get through the examination so add this nine chapters be thorough with this nine chapters and particularly talking about this last two chapters last two chapters are very very important but most of the people ignore it most of the people ignore the last two chapters but trust me guys even in the mtp also if you see a huge weightage has been tested from this last two chapters eight marks 12 marks 14 marks they used to test it from the last two chapters under old scheme i do expect that the same trend will continue even the new scheme when it comes to this last two chapters so last two chapters very important audit of items of financial statements audit of various entities and one important request which i have for all of you don't mug up these last two chapters mugging up should be avoided first thing mugging up should be completely avoided now unless you understand the concept you will not be able to you will not be able to answer the questions so question paper patterns are changing a lot so mugging up should not be the top priority you should always have the conceptual clarity for getting that conceptual clarity even walk, you even you can watch our marathon series two parts of the marathon i have already uploaded one more last part is there so as i have told you i have become sick from the last few days now i am doing better very soon i will upload the third part also take the help of the marathon videos get the conceptual clarity read the test your knowledge question booklet read the mcqs from the study material that also I have compiled in the booklets and thoroughly prepare for these chapters and increase the odds in your favor and increase the probability in your favor to get to the examination so this is what i wanted to say it i think uh, video has got uh, a bit lengthy i just wanted to take uh, seven or eight minutes but it, i think uh, it has taken some 13 minutes and all so i think uh, this much uh, is enough i don't want to waste much of your time guys all the very best don't get overloaded with the stress the only thing which is in your control is efforts dedicate your efforts properly and results will follow thank you all thank you so much for listening to this video if you find this video informative, please do share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much. Bye everybody. Take care.